Hello everyone! Welcome to How to Make a 3D Dragon in Blender 3D version 2.0. Today we'll be working on the actual model of the 3D Dragon. Before you watch this, make sure you check out the other link that I'm gonna put up in whatever corner here for the basics. Hello again! Welcome to Meek Zero's Blender tutorial How to Make a Dragon. Uh, this is going to be a new tutorial updated, and your and before you watch this, make sure you check out the other link that I'm going to put up in whatever corner here for the basics. If you never, never, ever did Blender before, go there and get familiar with the interface first. Okay, now we're going to start. We got this screen, and we're going to do split area. There we go, we got it back. And I'm going to set this to side view and this to front. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure that I have a background image for this. It was a very long time ago. Let me look for it. Okay. Just going to pause. Okay, yay, I found it. I'm just going to get it again. And just click that, and there's mine. Now, if you check the description, you'll be able to find a link to a very similar dragon that I've drawn just for you guys. It looks almost exactly the same, it just doesn't have the fuzz. That is totally optional. Uh, the picture that I gave, well, sort of blended you guys, can be edited in almost any way. You just can't use it for commercial purposes. It's just for a tutorial. Okay, I'm going to exit that, and now, actually, you know what, I'm going to move it just a little bit to, uh, oops. Okay, that looks better. Sorry, I just wanted it there for whatever reason. I'm going to save it. Remember to save. Okay, I'll just save it. Dragon. Now if you're also wondering why I'm doing a totally brand new dragon tutorial is that I was not able to really finish the old one and my computer broke. And I wasn't able to and it basically had they had, they had to delete everything. It was all gone and all my hard work <laughs> down the drain. Now I just resized it and that's with the R key. R, and I just got this square right here. I'm gonna grab it with the G key until I get it in a place where I want to start. I'm gonna use the box tool, B. Now unlike the other tutorial that I put up, this dragon is going to be extremely low poly at the first part, and we'll slowly get into detail. Well, depending on how fast you learn from the tutorials, it'll be slow or fast, whatever. Uh, box select, grab, now let's try these. This is the extrude button. Size it. Grab and rotate. Grab again. Extrude. Rotate. So, have you guys starting to get the hang of this now? Right now we got a few boxes. We learned how to extrude to to our picture. Now let's go to the mirror modifier. I've also covered this in the other tutorials, so hopefully you guys remember. We're going to use loop cut. We're going to press the middle mouse button so it goes in the middle. Now we have a line there. Use the box tool to select all of these boxes over here and just delete faces. And that's with the delete button. Go to modifiers, add modifier, and mirror. And do clipping. Now whatever we do on this side will happen on that side. Now let's go back to modeling the dragon.
again, loop cut, and I pressed size button, which is S, and Y. Now we're going to the tail. Basically, you just extrude. Now, if you're having trouble seeing what what um, the silhouette or whatever, you don't have this image to memory. Go to this little box here, this drop drop up menu, and go to wireframe, and now you can see through it. And now we're going to use a, um, a different key. We're going to do Alt M, and this is the merge. Now I know it's a little confusing. You get to use M in a bunch of different ways here, but in edit mode, if you do Alt M, you get this. And we're going to do at center. And now we got a triangular point. Now, congratulations! You got a side silhouette of the dragon's body done, and in like five or so minutes, I'm not too sure. But now that we look on this side, we notice that it doesn't look right. It looks like a square. And we don't really want that, so let's go to top view, mouse over the other side, and press 7. And this gives us a nice top view of everything. And that's numlock 7. Make sure numlock is selected before you do that. And let's just fix the tail. Put that over to the center, so now it won't move. Just use the box select, click on uh, left click on the arrow, and move it there. And just do that with all the vertices until you feel like it's okay. Now, also, I know it looks kind of silly, it looks very boxy right now, but we'll soon cover how to detail the mesh in the later tutorial probably won't be able to cover it all in this one, so let's give it another area on the spine. Whenever you want to add more vertices or edges, you need to use loop cut. That is going to be your carve tool, like I've previously said. Now I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to go in this mode. I'm going to do size, and press Z. There we go. 